What's going on with you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? You know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike, from down here at Dynamics Music. And we're back again with Musician Mondays, the first Musician Monday of the year. And uh, today we're going to be basically talking about how to run multiple layers inside of uh, main stage three, the proper way to set it up, especially and specifically if you're using uh, contact. Contact five or contact or any of the stuff by native instruments are some of the most popular soft synths on the market. You have the Alicia Keys piano, you have the MK Sensation, you have, I mean, just tons and tons and tons of um, libraries out there on the market, especially in our gospel music centric, because you guys know I'm a gospel a musician so we use a lot of contact instruments very popular uh in terms of you know using soft sense or what have you so i want to show because a lot of us like to use um contact instruments i know i use a plethora of them so i want to show basically how i set them up inside of main stage to be able to maximize cpu and also to be able to maximize um uh, my effectiveness in using these layers. So let's take a look at it. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to open up contact and I'm going to show you how I do it. And we're going to, and I got it here in stereo. That's the most popular way to open it up, but we're going to open it up in multi output 16 X stereo. And what that does is allow you to uh, layer up to 16 different sounds in only one instance of contact. So what I'm going to do, I already got the Scarby loaded up here, the Scarby Mark I, one, one of my favorite EPs. Uh, and I'm going to also load up the MK Sensation. Uh, we'll just use this Gospel Shout uh, preset. Uh, let's let that load up. Give it a second. And boom. Uh, then we're going to load up the Alicia Keys Piano. We'll drop that in here. Uh, let's see. Then I have some other little contact instruments uh, that I got from a friend uh, that sampled them. Uh, I'm going to get the, I have the, let's see, we're going to load up the Hugo bass. And then we're going to load up uh, some background strings. And we're going to load up analog and we're just gonna keep loading up let's see i'm just gonna load up as many as i can profi these are all instruments off the motif these are sample instruments off the motif uh we're gonna load up forest uh and one more let's see that might be all we need let's see here if i have eight of them one two three four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, yeah, that's all I need. All right, so now that I've got all my layers that I wanna use or potentially use in a church service or performance, what I'm going to do now is the first very important thing is to click on output here. And then we're gonna go down here to batch, preset batch configuration. And we're gonna to go to batch functions and we're gonna clear output selection and create one individual channel for each loaded instrument. Very important, all right? That just kind of clears out your formatting and puts everything on its own, indivi own individual channel here inside of, um, inside of Contact, all right? So we close that. And the next thing we're gonna do is, because what Contact does by default, whenever you load in in this mode, it puts every um every sound on a different midi channel this one's on channel midi channel one this one's on two this one's on three and so on four five six on down seven eight now down to the last one all right so what we're going to do is because we're only going to be using one controller uh if you're using two controllers then you can maybe you know match and match them putting you know put one controller on midi to read sounds from midi channel two that's kind of like some advanced stuff but for this one we're just going to do one controller because that's what most people use is just one controller so we're going to take this port right here this midi port and put it on one and we're going to do the same thing with all of these we're going to put them all on one put them all on one click on this 
go to one. You can also go to Omni if you want to, but I'm just, you know, just for tutorial purposes to make it simple. Put it all on one. Put everything, oh, that's the wrong one. Put everything on one. Everything's on one. So if I play all this, it's gonna sound like a bunch of garble. Watch this. Everything's all mixed together. So, but I only have one fader here. So how do I control the multiple sounds, the multiple um, you know, sounds that I have here inside of there? How do I mix them? Well, yeah, I could go here and I could turn down the individual volumes. You can even right click uh, and do learn MIDI CC and map it to your controller if you want to, or map it to a sound. But it's another very simple way to do this. It's a little plus, because we opened it in multi-output mode, there is now a little plus symbol right here. What we're gonna do is click this plus symbol eight times, well, six, seven times. One, okay, there's two, three, four, five, six. Let's go back, seven. Let's see if we got eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need to click it one more time. And now we have eight auxiliary channels. So when I play this now, every channel shows up. So now what I need to do is just name my channels respectively. This one is the Scarby EP. And we'll name it Scarby. How I know it's the Scarby? Let's solo it. All right, let's solo this one. That's the MK sensation. So we will type here. I'll just put MKS. Let's see what this one is. Alicia Keys. And so on and so forth. You get the picture. You can go through here and figure out all of your layers and be able to lay them out. So what is the main benefit of this? I have eight sounds loaded up inside of Contact. I have all of them set on a different channel here inside of Main Stage. Uh, so let's see, what is it doing in the CPU? So if I double click my CPU, right now idling is sitting at only 19%. And a lot of that is because I have my recording software running in the background that's recording the audio and screen capturing the video. So some of that is coming from that. But if I double click here, it shows my CPU uh, history. So if I play, play it in sound. So as you see, I'm not even hitting 50% of my CPU because I have everything loaded in there in one instance of contact and instead of having everything loaded across the channels in multiple instances of contact, it's a great way to save CPU. Uh, and then you can also mix and lay out your layers and, and you don't have to map things and mute and bypass and do all those different things like that. It's a very simple and efficient way to set up your layers inside main stage. And not only that, you can map these to buttons on your com controller. So if I want to be able to mute them and do those different things like that, I just hit map parameter and I hit mute here. And now this button right here controls the mute on this channel. Same thing if I go over here and click this one, mute. And if I click this one and then go here, mute. Now I can control the muting on each of these channels simply uh, simply by pressing this button. So that's just the easy and simple way to set up your layers inside of contact, uh, inside of main stage, for those of you who like to run multiple layers uh, and be able to maximize your CPU usage. And like I said, even though you saw 46, 47% on here, when you're not running, because I'm running recording software in the background, if I'm, when I wasn't running my recording software, I was getting about 20, 30% of CPU usage. So that's all I wanted to hit you guys with today. Just a quick tip on how to utilize uh, and run multiple layers inside of main stage. You know how we do, Facebook this video, share this video, tweet this video, do all those things you like to do and share it on social media and uh, holla at your boy.